I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I've been here since Friday at noon. So tomorrow when the case opens, I'll be here for a total of four days. I've been here since Friday morning. It's been cold, it rained, sleeping on concrete. I've been here since Friday afternoon, and I've been here in the even, evening hours in the rain under a tarp. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little inconvenient. <laughs> we ask for transparency of our government. And you know, in the 21st century, it's kind of insane that they're, they're not cameras in the courtroom. While it is going to be a really awesome thing if I get into the court tomorrow and see it, it is not something that should be reserved for the select few. Another problem I have with their exclusion of the cameras is if this is going to be a decision that affects all Americans, all Americans should be able to see the process of how that decision is reached. How many people can actually give up four days to sit in line for it, you know, or pay, I've heard like, you know, $6,000 for, you know, a line center. A lot of people can't pay that. The majority of Americans probably would like cameras inside of the Supreme Court. It would facilitate more people having access to watching this decision. There's millions of people's lives going to be affected. I don't see, I don't see a strong argument why there should not be cameras in the courtroom. The people who are already the first 50 have already gone in. I was supposed to be one of the first 50, but someone took my spot. I didn't get to go in, but everyone should be entitled to get in via a video. They took the first 50 in, uh, and we're 15 back from that. We're hoping they're gonna come back, but they haven't been back in half an hour. It was cold, it was miserable, and there it is. We spent 24 hours on the street, we're gonna get shafted. Imagine if they had television in the courtroom. We could all see it without suffering. I can't imagine what it would be like to be in that courtroom today. Having media and transparency in general is really important to our democracy, and so there should be cameras in the courtroom. The, the number of people that are able to actually witness what's happening inside the courtroom right now is so small. I think that people all over the country, um, LGBT youth in Iowa and Indiana and in Texas, should be able to turn on their television and see what's happening today with the decision that's going to affect them for the rest of their lives. On a dry transcript of a hearing, you don't see the reality of what was going on in that courtroom. So that's why we need, as Americans, to demand our access, to be able to see what's actually going on and not have it digested for us, abstracted for us, because I have deep confidence when we see what's going on for ourselves, justice, equality, and freedom will be advanced.